What up? It's your boy, CPA Strength. Yes, it is me again. <laughs> First time filming in six months. I want to get this video up. I'm like crazy. I'm like, what do I talk about? What do I say? This and that. Where to look in the camera? Am I going? Yes, I'm going. Anyways, okay. I'm getting back into it, getting back into it. This is your first video, or you've seen uh, The Seeker, the first account, AFB, Accounting for Beginners video that I did almost two years ago. Welcome. If this is your 25th video watching me, your first video watching me, your second video watching me, thank you. Welcome back to the classic series, AFB 23. Accounting for beginners number 23. It's gonna be cash, cash, cash that money, them chippers, the don't knockers, you know, what makes the world turn around. You got money, it's like, ugh, you got money. I always think of cash because like in my little green, my little palm of my hands, you know. Uh, do I have do I have some sticky little greenbacks here? Some 20s, some 20s, ooh, some hundreds. It's the simplest level, it's like, am I getting more of these little monies? Am I getting more of these? monies or do I have to give away my monies? Now my monies conceptually I just think of like this uh, open-ended open -ended wallet on my in my hand but really I have written down you know um, my Bank America jump cut alright boy I'm back so you get the idea um, Bank of America, Chase Wells Fargo, your bank account, your checking account, your savings checking account, that's considered cash in my business, and I and I would say in most businesses. I got a question from somebody that says, for example, when I post a two bank account, then I don't know what account I have to post the other one to, because apparently there's always two different accounts, so I never know which ones go together. Please help me out, man. Now that is a problem that I had when I started, it was really, really hard for me. Apparently there's two separate transactions. Yes, correct. That I always struggled with that, and what, what helped me out was I just started thinking, I just started following, you know, if there was cash in a transaction, then I was good, and I would at least have half of it correct. I have a process on elimination, and on uh, games, and on GP, on games played, and on, you know, on examples done, practice that I've done, I got to see what was most likely to happen and if I had no idea I would just put the most likely thing to happen like on an exam or whatever let's all get this ca a cash uh, cash you know checking account and bank account whatever is an asset cash is an asset but cash is, cash let's just say we're good on that everybody good on that cash is an asset you're like no I'm not good on that bro okay I mean, <laughs> sorry, that's probably one of the best things that happened to me is I got a job in an accounting firm and I didn't have time to be like, I don't understand everything. You know, I understood a couple things and I just did it. I just kept on doing it, kept on doing it, kept on doing monthly, monthly journal entries, monthly journal entries, monthly journal entries. And I tell you what, you know, six, seven months, something clicked. Another couple months, something else clicked. You know, so after I did it for a year, then it was clicking. I didn't have time to get bogged down in everything because then I wouldn't do any, you know anything so if you're like I don't understand why cash is an asset or why the bank account is an asset because I understand thoroughly sometimes I just had to say hey it is it is what it is and I'm just gonna go with it so that's what I want everyone to do now with the cash account these are in the positive forms here the positive forms alright so you're saying you're saying apparently there's two different sides to everything. You have money leaving your cash account currently. All right, now, all right, back, boom. All right, you spent $300, $300 at at and for telephone. Now, you're like, there's supposedly two parts. I don't know, I don't know anything. I don't really know anything. Question, go, you spent $300 at at and for telephone. Okay, great. Was there any money in that? Is there any cash? Bing, 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 $300. Great. Okay. So that's, that's our first thing. We have cash. Cool. Okay. I know 
that I'm about to get at least half this mug right. Ding, 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 we have cash. Cash is an asset. In positive form, it's a debit. And it's mirrored, I think, number, uh, accounting for beginners, number 16, I go over this. The mirroring effect. All right, so we've got the cat cash for $300. Cat, we already know cash is an asset. We're spending $300. Negative a negative asset to journal is you're gonna, you're gonna credit that money leaving the bank account You're gonna credit <clears throat> maybe this will help if it is cash received Cash going up Cash is an asset. It's a debit a positive debit if cash is going if cash is received it's going up It's a debit if cash is spent You spend money It's decreasing That's a credit Okay, so you spent three hundred dollars at AT and T for telephone. You know, DC Adler's in the positive form. Okay, great. Yeah, I know that. So who, why do I care? I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. <clears throat> you spend three hundred dollars cash. Wait, cash. I know what cash is. Cash. Cash is an asset in positive form. You spend three hundred dollars. Okay. If I spend cash, stop. Stop and think. I spent it. Now I know you go and buy, you go and buy clothes, you go and buy whatever, you have less cash. You have cash in a negative form. Hmm. If, uh, if cash in a positive form is debited, I have cash in a negative form because I spent it, so that is going to be a credit. So here's our, here's our credit. So here's our one half of our journal entry. We have one half of, you know, 50% of the question right. And uh, we're, we're well on our way now. $300 cash is our credit journal entry. It is a negative asset. It's money leaving the bank account. And now we have to match on the debit side $300. Let's finish up this question because now this kind of goes back around into apparently there's two parts to a question I don't know what to do with the other bank part of the bank account well that's assuming that this person with the question knew what to do with the bank account but I think most people get all crazy and uh, you know just gotta break it down sometimes you gotta break it down like caveman like oh spent money for what you know and uh, so anyways, we got one half of our journal entry done. Now we're going to go and finish the other half. Spend $300 at at and for telephone. What has, to match is the what has to match is the amounts on the other side. Jump cut back in, boy. Hair on fleek. Boy, who's my barber? Actually, I'm my own barber now, so I love my haircut. What up, what up, dog? dog? Yeah! Oh, I feel back. I feel back, boy. What you know about that, son, huh? Yeah! Uh. Now that I've been filming for like half an hour, talking in front of the camera half an hour, although hopefully I won't subject you to too much of this. Maybe this will make the cut, maybe this won't, but I'm feeling good. It's very nerve-wracking filming. And, uh, you know, as I was setting up for this this morning, I was like, I know... So many people are going to love it, and, uh, you know, some people are going to hate it, and that's good, too, and I just love, love making the YouTube, and I promise I'm going to keep trying to get better and make this into something, you know, so, which I have, miraculously, and I'm looking into the camera now, which is hard because I got the viewfinder, but everything comes in steps, so anyways, I just was like, yeah, I'm feeling this now. I'm more comfortable in my office. Uh, I've been here almost two years now in my office. When I first started making these videos, people are like, is he drunk? Is he high? What's wrong with him? Although I am a mess. Um, I probably have so many different kind of disorders and whatnot. And, but anyways, I'm a CPA though, so hey. All right, so you've got, uh, you spent $300. We already know that. Because there's your $300 cash that you spent over here. 
Alright, so we've already got that. Alright. Apparently there's two parts to a question. Yes, there is. The other half of it is, what did you spend the money on? You need to match the $300, there's going to be a $300 debit for sure. So what did you spend the $300 on? Now if it's for biz, if it's for, if you spent money at your business, most likely it's going to be an expense. Now the main thing is there's two separate, two separate accounts, uh, two separate uh, transactions and a journal entry. So we've already discussed that probably at nauseum cash, cash leaving uh, is a credit. So you had $300 leaving. So that's $300 credit. So now you need a $300 debit. Dang, we already know the amount of debit. So you've already got, just by knowing you spent $300, you've already got most of this journal entry done. Monthly bill, at and for telephone monthly bill. So you're like, oh, monthly bill, that's an expense. So you probably, so you just write telephone expense here. Telephone. So that would be telephone expense here, $300 telephone. Anyways, I did not like this video much at all. It was my first one back. It is 31 minutes right now. Hopefully I'll snap it down to 10. I don't know, I gotta do way better on these, but I gotta start earlier because it's getting crazy in my head now. But. I'm going to be back a lot. You're going to get more of me. I hope you learned something from this video. Um, I love doing these. And I'm going to be back soon. So until next time, peace. Trouble man, stranded like a flat tire. Keep it close, muffin' for this pipe.